Let's face it, the underlying goal of drafting is to provide dimensions for someone to reproduce your design without you being present to guide them. So, the dimension tools are a very important feature of any CAD application. And AutoCAD for Mac 2016 has a great new update for the DIM command. I'll find it here under the Annotation Toolset. When entering the DIM command, you're presented with all of the familiar dimension tools like Linear, Angular, and Radius. However, in the new tool, you don't need to actually choose one of the options to start dimensioning. I'm going to go over to my drawing and just start hovering over some of the geometry. And we can see that AutoCAD is picking up on that and offering the appropriate dimension, depending on if it's linear or radial. I can switch back and forth between radial and diameter by hovering over the object and then pressing D or R if I want to switch to the opposite type. I'm not limited to selecting single objects, however. I'm going to select the line segment here and then put my cursor over an adjoining line segment here. We can see that AutoCAD has picked up on the relationship between the two lines and offers the distance between the two. I can also hover over a line that is not parallel and get an angular dimension. I'm kept in the dim command until I press return. This allows me to quickly dimension my drawing without having to constantly switch dimensioning tools. The tool can have its limitations, however, like trying to give me an aligned dimension when I'm trying to locate this circle. It's a very powerful and useful tool in your dimensioning tool belt. I tend to apply about 90% of my dimensions using the DIM tool, then going back with more specific tools for unique or odd situations.